at 6 a.m., when Gautama Habro arrived at the Target Arena in Minneapolis, the line for tickets already snaked around the block. Within hours, 20,000 fans had packed the venue. People around me were crying, says Gautama, a 28-year-old medical laboratory scientist. Seeing this was a dream come true. Gautama wasn't at a pop concert. This was the final leg of Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's three-city American tour. Held in July, it was the first time the 42-year-old had visited the more than 251,000 Ethiopians living in the United States, many in self-imposed exile, fleeing ethnic clashes, violence and political instability in their homeland. The level of hope was something we had not seen since the election of Barack Obama, says Mohamed Admo an activist who fled to the U.S. in 2002 and founded Opride.com, a news outlet that was blocked for years at home. Since taking office on April 2, Africa's youngest head of government has electrified Ethiopia with a dizzying array of liberal reforms credited by many with saving the country from civil war. Abi has freed thousands of political prisoners, unblocked hundreds of censored websites, ended the 20-year state of war with Eritrea lifted a state of emergency, and planned to open key economic sectors to private investors, including the state-owned Ethiopian Airlines. In the capital city of Addis Ababa, taxi windscreens are plastered with abish stickers, while citizens are changing their WhatsApp and Facebook profile pictures to pro slogans and spending their money on Abi t-shirts. Elias Tesfaye, a garment factory owner, says that in the past six weeks he has sold 20,000 t-shirts bearing a bee's face, which cost about 300 bir each. In June, an estimated 4 million people attended a rally a gave in the capital's Mescal Square. Tom Gardner, a British journalist who lives in Addis Ababa, says there is an almost religious fervor to what has been dubbed a bee mania. People talk quite openly about seeing him as the son of God or a prophet, he says. On the verge of civil war a prime minister's wardrobe doesn't often attract attention. But the blazers with purple or green and gold trim that Abi wore on his US tour were not just a natty pick, this was traditional Omo attire. That's significant. Abi is Ethiopia's first prime minister from the country's biggest ethnic group, the Omo, who make up one third of its 100 million people. Ethiopia has more than 90 ethnic groups and for decades the country's politics have been organized along these divisive lines.